Hey y'all and welcome back to our Get Hooked on Socks Challenge. Today is all about making the ankle portion of our Simplicity Socks and I'm so excited because that means that when you are done with this part of the sock, if this is your first sock, you can then begin your second sock. But if you're on the second sock of it, then that means that you're gonna have a pair done and you can wear your Simplicity Socks. So in the tutorial today, I go over how to work the ankle of your Simplicity Socks. And basically what we're doing is we're getting back to working in the round. And then we have some decreases to do in the round and then keep working the sock until it's the length that you want. So this is where you can customize if you want a shorty ankle sock or if you want your sock to be longer. And we go over how to finish making your Simplicity Sock in the ankle portion. And it's super fun. And then when you're done, you're gonna have one Simplicity Sock or a pair of Simplicity Socks and it's gonna be super fun. All right, so let's dive into making the ankle portion of our Simplicity Sock. All right, y'all, so let's begin working the ankle portion of our sock. Now we're gonna need to do the same thing as we did before. I need to change back to the main color. So I'm just gonna rework this last stitch right here that I did on my ankle, not my ankle, my heel. And I'm just gonna rework that so that I can, as I work that last loop, I'm gonna change back to my main color. And then we can continue on with the ankle of the sock, and then you'll have a Simplicity Sock complete by the end of this tutorial. All right, now we're ready to begin the ankle. So now this is how I kind of want you to look at when making the sock, and this is explained in the written pattern, but essentially to work the ankle, we go down the first side of the heel. We go across the front of the foot, then we go up the second side, of our heel and then across the top. So we're working all the way around, but we're breaking it down into sections. That way you know that you're working the right amount of stitches in the right places. So we work down the first side of the heel, across the front, second side of the heel, and across the top of the heel. Once you do that once all the way around for row one of the ankle, um, you then we're back working in the round and we don't have to look at it like that anymore. All right, so to begin working row number one, we're gonna work along this first side here. And this is written the same for all sizes. We're gonna work one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So we're working one stitch in each row to work these 11 stitches on this side. And again, you wanna kind of work over those tails a little bit if you were working with that second color and you basically just look at the sides of it and work half double crochet. So as you get further down, you'll see that like it's a lot easier to see where that row is, but just look at the end of each row, work one half double crochet in that last stitch. I'm gonna make sure to have 11 stitches all the way across. Now working into those decreased stitches that you may have on the end, maybe a little frustrating to get through, but once you get through it, super simple, because then you just reach the half double crochets that you need to go through, okay? Now if you want, you could get a stitch marker and mark the beginning and the end of each row so that you know where to place that. But we're just working half double crochets all the way across the first side of our heel. And the other side of our heel, when we work that, that's gonna be exactly the same as this, okay? So just take your time and work into each of the last stitch there in that row. Okay, so I've got some tails kind of getting in my way. So I'm gonna pause here and I'm just gonna cut my heel color 
off so it stays out of my way because I worked over my tails there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna keep on going. And then just double check and count. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Okay, and then you just wanna double check and count. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11, you wanna make sure you have 11, okay? And then you're gonna reach back to the front of your sock, and you're gonna work one half double crochet in each stitch across until you reach the other side of the heel. So for the medium size, I'm gonna work, be working one half double crochet in the next 18 stitches. The extra small, you're gonna do 14, small 16, large 20, and extra large 22. All right, so let's begin working one half double crochet in the next X amount of stitches for the front of our foot. So for medium, I'm doing 18. So I'm just gonna keep repeating this all the way across until I reach the other side of the heel so I can continue up that side of the ankle. Just working one half double crochet across the front of the sock. All right, so finishing up the last stitch of the front of the sock here. As you can see, starting to get nice and even around. Got this second side of the heel here and then the top of the heel. And then we'll be all the way back in the round again. Okay, so now that we've reached the second side of the heel, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're gonna work one half double crochet in the next 11 stitches. So just make sure that you are going into each of those 11 rows and working one stitch. Now, if you do find that maybe you need to add an extra stitch somewhere to help close a gap, that's okay because in the ankle, we do some decrease stitches. So if you need to work an extra decrease when you get to the ankle because you had to help close a gap, absolutely okay. Okay, so once you have finished working your 11 stitches across your second side there, we're then going to do the top of the sock. So for, let's see, for extra small and small, there will be two stitches up here. And then for medium, large, and extra large, there's three. So we're just gonna work one half double crochet and how many of our stitches are left. So for medium, there's three. So I'm going to finish working that. And we are now back in the round everything is nice and even all the way around our sock okay so now what we're going to do for round two is we're going to start doing some decreases so where we're going to be placing those decreases is going to be if in the beginning and the end where we worked our heel over here of our ankle now at the end of this round we are not going to be joining because we're going to continue working in continuous rounds but our ankle is now started. We're back in continuous rounds. 
and I'm so excited because this is the last little part of making our sock. And once you have one, it'll be super simple to make two. So I'm gonna go back and keep that stitch from coming undone. All right, let's begin working round number two. We're going to work one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna work a half double crochet, two together. So we're gonna do that. And the next two stitches, we know how to do that because we worked a bunch of those in the heel. And then what we wanna do to keep working round number two is we're gonna work one half double crochet in the next stitch in each stitch around until we reach the last three stitches. So we're just gonna go all the way around our ankle until we reach the last three stitches and then we'll do another decrease on that side. Okay, so once you've finished working all the way around and you're back to the beginning of your round, this is a good place to also put our stitch marker, um, but you're gonna have three stitches left and we're gonna end this round by working a half double crochet, two together in the next two stitches and then one half double crochet in the last stitch. So let's work a half double crochet, two together and then one half double crochet in the last stitch. And then round two is complete. And our boat is becoming more and more here with our sides coming up for our ankle. So much fun, I love this. All right, so now what we're going to do for rounds three and four is we're gonna work what we did here in round two. We're gonna be working a decrease at the beginning of the round and at the end of the round. So let me show you how to do that one more time. Then after you complete round four, if you find that your ankle portion of your sock is still too loose for you, you can try on your sock at any point to see how it's fitting. You can add in some more decrease rounds. Everybody's foot, ankle, all measures completely different. So one of the great things about socks is you can customize it as you're making it. So again, if you find that your ankle is too loose, add in some more decrease rounds. All right, let's work round number three so I can show you how to work the decrease round again. So remember, at the end of the rounds, we're not joining. So we're gonna jump right into this first stitch here. And we're gonna work one half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we wanna work a half double crochet, two together in the next two stitches. Then we wanna work one half double crochet in the next stitch in each stitch around until we reach the last three stitches. Okay, so we are just working half double crochets all the way around until we reach the last three stitches and there we'll place another decrease for our ankle. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. All right, so once you've worked all the way around and you've got your last three stitches left, we're going to work a half double crochet, two together in the next two stitches. And then one half double crochet in the last stitch, okay? So now what I want you to do is work round number four, which is another decrease round just like we did here. And then after that, see how your sock fits. If it fits perfectly in the ankle, then continue on in the written pattern. If it does not fit perfectly in the ankle and it's too loose, then do some more decrease rounds until you feel like it fits perfectly because that's why we are making the Simplicity socks so that they're simple and they fit our foot perfectly, okay? So do your round four, your decrease round, and then any more decrease rounds that you need to do to fit your foot perfectly. And then I will show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so once you finish your decrease rounds, I'm gonna show you what this looks like here. 
this. I love socks. Look how fun. I love when after I've done the heel and I'm onto the ankle and it starts to look like a sock. Makes it even more fun. It makes me want to finish. Okay, so once you finish your decrease round, what we're going to do is for rounds five through 10, and the stitch, the round count may change if you do more decrease rounds, but essentially we want six rounds of just working half double crochets all the way around, and then we'll have our final, uh, final trim up there that we'll do for our sock. So for rounds five through 10, and again, that stitch count, that row count may change if you are doing more decrease rounds, but we're just gonna be working one half double crochet and the next stitch in each stitch around. And remember, we're working in continuous rounds, so we don't wanna be joining at the end of the round. We just wanna work one half double crochet in the next stitch in each stitch around. Do grab your stitch marker, mark the first stitch of your round so that you know where you're starting and where you're ending, it makes it so much easier. But again, for rounds five through 10, we're just gonna work one half double crochet and the next stitch and each stitch around, do not join at the end of the round. And then once you finish round number 10, I'm gonna show you what to do for round number 11 and 12, and then you will have at least one simplicity sock completed, and then you can make the next one, unless you're already onto your second sock. But either way, you'll have one simplicity sock complete. So again, rounds five through 10, one half double crochet and the next stitch. In each stitch around, work that, and then I'll show you how to work rounds 11 and 12 to complete your simplicity sock. Okay, so once you complete round 10 of your ankle, we're now going to do the final two rounds. Now in my original sock here, I changed my color back to my contrast color for my toe and heel. So for the little bit of top there, I'm gonna change back to my mini. So I'm gonna change my color one more time. This is completely optional, you don't have to do that, but I like just seeing the color um, pop up again. So I've completed that stitch there for the end of round 10, but I'm gonna go ahead and change back to my mini. Okay. Okay, so now that I've completed round 10, I also need to go ahead and join with a slip stitch but I wanted to change my color before I did that. Okay. So now it's time to work round 11. So to work round 11, I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna work one single crochet in the same stitch. I'm gonna work over my tails for this round like I did in the previous rounds when I changed colors. And then what we're going to do for round 11 is we're gonna work one single crochet in the next stitch and each stitch around. So basically all that we're doing for round 11 and 12 is working a single crochet little trim here at the top of the sock. Super simple. So again, I am working over my tails, which means I won't have to weave in ends when I'm done. So again, round 11, we are just going to be working single crochets all the way around. Okay, so now that I've worked in the tail for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and snip my main color, keep it out of my way, and then continue on with round 11, working my single crochets all the way around. Now make sure to watch your tension here as well. You don't want it to be super, super tight at your ankle that you cannot slide it over your foot. But you do just want nice, even, clean stitches all the way around the top of your ankle.
Okay, so once you've worked round 11 all the way around and you're back to the beginning here, we're going to end this round by joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch there. Okay. And then we're gonna work round 12. Round 12 is exactly what we did here in round 11. We're gonna chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch and each stitch around. So we're just gonna have two rounds of this. You can customize your socks. You can make your rows longer. You could do more of a trim. It's completely up to you. This is just the starting place of making a pair of Simplicity socks. So again, for round 12, we're just working one single crochet in the next stitch and each stitch around. Okay, so once you've worked that all the way around, same thing, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to complete our sock. And we have now completed one pair of Simplicity socks, okay? So now we want to grab our scissors, cut a tail, leave in any loose ends that you have Hang it out and then all right and there you go you have a completed simplicity sock with a toe foot heel and ankle I hope y'all loved making the simplicity socks this was so much fun I love these socks they're super simple simple stitches and make a beautiful pair of socks so the next tutorial will be on how to wet block your socks onto a pair of sock blockers. So be sure to check that out when it is available on the YouTube channel. So now that you have made one sock, go make another sock so that you have a pair. And then once you have your pair, you can block your socks. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, grab your yarns, your crochet hooks, all your socks, and get hooked. Bye, guys.